I'm Alicia. super excited for this. I actually went to Morgan <laughs> Park High School, so I just know the uh -huh. neighborhood, and it's mm -hmm. so many, it can be so eclectic and diverse at times. Mm -hmm. And so this is a really cool way to kind of get a taste of all of that. Tell okay. us about the Art Walk and just its origins. Sure. So this, um, so we started about five years ago, and it was really serendipitous. Um, Sal Campbell, who is our curator, who's here today with us. We were introduced by our hairdresser. So we were both talking about the same thing. We're both artists. We wanted to have art in our neighborhood. She was saying the same thing. And then our hairdresser, Meg from Tranquility, um, connected us. And within three months, we had the first art walk. I love mm -hmm. it. And how is this different? This is not an art fair. You specifically right. want to be clear, it's an art walk. Like, right. what's the, de right. uh, the delineation there? So we wanted to see art everywhere in our neighborhood, and we want to support our local business. So we see art as a catalyst for positive change. And um, what's the best way to do so than having it within our local business community? And also in vacant storefronts, we have a number of galleries in vacant storefronts, and it really activates the space. Yeah. And we've had a number of um, new rentals come about that. Nice, mm -hmm. supporting the local community. So right. let's dive in here and yeah. see what kind of things we can find because yeah. I think that's what's so cool about it mm -hmm. is that there's a variety mm -hmm. of things that uh, you can get, unique gifts, unique things yeah. for your home. So tell me about some of the items that we see here. So we have an uprising craft fair. It's handmade um, items. We have a number of, this is Nicole Burns who makes some amazing handmade items for children. We have photography, we have jewelry, and everything is for sale. Everything's for sale both in the Uprising Craft Fair, which is in two locations. We have one at Olivia's Garden on 107th and Western, and we have one at Baracco's on 95th Street. Nice. Well, mm -hmm. come on through. We got more. Yep. So I want people to see this because this isn't things that these aren't things that you can find in everyday stores. It's just mm -hmm. so unique and uh, unique to the community. Mm -hmm. We have some more visual art here. Yeah. So we have um, a full range of art that's being presented. We have painting, we have pottery, we have um, sculpture from recycled items. Uh -oh. We have um, more sculpture. This is alcohol ink. So Helen Danley, who is one of our more recent artists, she did a workshop for adults in the neighborhood. Nice. And I also want to um, point out this piece over here. So this was done by Spider Shergan, who is a, a great member of our community. Every year we invest in a community art project. And this year it's working with Spider Shergan, who will be at Morgan Park High School, where yeah. I understand you went. So he's working with the art teacher and the art students to create um, items that will be displayed in the Art in the Dark Parade mm -hmm. on October 20th downtown. Well, let's keep it on moving. Mm -hmm. So as we said, just right. a, all different forms of expression of art and yeah. different ways that uh, you can support local people mm -hmm. in the community. Tell mm -hmm. us about food as well. We also have yeah. food there. So we have um, food from across the neighborhood and these are some great examples. <laughs> so one, um, so Beverly Bakery, they've been involved since the very beginning. They're great supporters. Sweet Freaks is actually right down the house, right down the street from my house nice. on Walden and 99th, and then Open Outcry. So I was gonna say, is this what I think it it's is? It's beer, beer in the morning. <laughs> so uh, John Brand, who started Open Outcry a couple years ago, he's been a great um, partner with the Art Walk. When he first bought his building, before renovations, he let us use um, the space for free for about six months. And we were able to activate the space, paint the walls, paint the ceilings, have amazing art for six months. So we love John. Yeah. And we hope people so come it's to Beverly. Just mm -hmm. A super cool event. As you can see, so many aspects to it, to this art walk, mm -hmm. and so many ways to get involved with the community. So Monica, thank yeah. you so oh, much. Thank you. We certainly Thanks. appreciate it. The fifth annual Beverly Art Walk takes place this Saturday from 12 to 7 p.m. It's in the Beverly and Morgan Park neighborhoods. So be sure to stop by.